This is San Diego News Daily. I'm Jackie Crea. Immigration experts are calling attention to a growing number of injuries to migrants. They blame the uptick on the increased height of the border fence. Now researchers say the change has also led to an increase in drownings as asylum seekers try to cross through the ocean. The height of the border fence in 2019 changed from 17 feet to 30 feet. In the four years before that change, there was one migrant drowning. In the four years since the change, there have been 33. Now, border agents recently told us that many asylum seekers don't realize how dangerous it is to try crossing over the water. Crossing through the maritime environment is extremely dangerous. Uh, one of the things that, that people don't realize is that crossing through the maritime environment, uh, the Pacific Ocean is extremely unpredictable. At night, you know, the temperature drops a lot. The water, it's, it's very unpredictable. The currents are very strong. Now, representatives from Scripps Mercy Hospital report that last month they treated 41 migrants for injuries. In the previous eight Februarys combined, the hospital had treated just seven migrants in total. Officials with Scripps Mercy Chula Vista have announced plans to move the facility's labor and delivery unit to accommodate a growing number of patients needing emergency care. Scripps health leaders say the Chula Vista location sees an average of 170 ER patients a day, but only has 25 licensed ER beds. They report converting the maternity ward will add up to 28 medical, surgical and observation beds. The change will force the hospital's childbirth and postpartum services to consolidate nearly 20 minutes north at the Hillcrest facility. The move will affect about 135 staff members, but Scripps is working to have those healthcare workers fill other jobs at Scripps Health across the region. Early next week, jurors will likely decide the fate of the man who murdered a local high school teacher. Both sides agree Jesse Alvarez shot and killed Mario Fierro, his ex-girlfriend's fiance. Deputy District Attorney Ramona McCarthy is arguing the killing was premeditated, pointing to Alvarez's Google searches of how to kill your ex's fiance and how to delete your Google search history. Alvarez's defense team is painting a different picture, instead alleging that the killing was done in self-defense. Late last week, Alvarez took the stand himself to try and clear his name. Right. He's seen the evidence, he's seen the searches that they were going to show against him in court, which they did over the past week. So I think that he thought, hey, I need to get up there and tell the jury why I did these particular searches. We do see at times when they decide to take the stand because they want the jury to hear their side of the story. In a case like this, there is a lot of overwhelming evidence in proving that the defendant did have a plan to murder Mr. Fierro. Now, Alvarez testified that he not, did not intend to kill Fierro, instead alleging violence broke out when he spontaneously decided to drive over to talk to the high school teacher that fateful morning. Now, jurors began their deliberations yesterday afternoon, but did not reach a verdict. By the end of the day, deliberations will resume Monday morning. Alvarez faces life in prison without the possibility of parole if convicted. And when most people think about earning college athletic scholarships, you probably think players earning a basketball scholarship, a football or volleyball scholarship. But two teenagers from Oceanside are changing that thought process. NBC7's Todd Strain has the story. Twin sisters Ada and Annabelle Lee are caddies at Goat Hill Golf Courts in Oceanside. They fix divot marks, pull the pin, wipe down clubs, carry bags, replace the pin and get yardage. Yeah, it's 145. Here's how they would describe what just happened to them. Unbelievable. It is really wild. Like I can't even imagine. Crazy. I started caddying four years ago and I never expected to get a full ride to college now. You heard that right. Ada and Annabelle earned prestigious Chick Evans caddy scholarships. Full four year housing and tuition scholarships valued at $125,000 over four years. The twins will go to either University of Washington, Oregon, or Kansas. All of them are really good schools, so hearing housing and tuition is all included is incredible. It actually makes me feel really good because um, I really enjoy caddying and I want to do my best to support my family because college is expensive, you know. And just uh, getting it myself makes me feel really proud of myself and just it's really good feeling, really good feeling. No surprise these twins with 4.0 GPAs at Mission Vista High School have the same career goals and same college major in mind. 
Mechanical engineering. Mechanical engineering. I want to be a uh, golf engineer. When we were younger, we were taken to like the tour facility, like Callaway and TaylorMade. So when we saw those clubs like being made and the golf balls and like everything behind it, it really intrigued us. Now most caddies are kind of low profile, but thanks oh, to the Evans Scholarship, no. the Lee Twins oh are the goats of Goat Hill. When our scholarship was announced, I was caddying for this one member and he kept on like flaunting me. He's like, I have an Evan Scholar on my bag. So he was just, it was just so fun. But in all seriousness, the Lee Twins are forever grateful for the Goat Hill golf community and its impact on their lives. It's an amazing place. I love Goat Hill. I feel like Goat Hill loves me, maybe. <laughs> this place is my second home. I've met so many people that have supported me, like deeply supported me, which I find this place so comfortable to be in. And then it's brought me so many new memories, new experiences, and just like brought, like changed my life, really. A good story. NBC7 meteorologist Burke Martell will have a look at your weather right after this. Looking for NBC San Diego on Roku? The easiest way to find us is with Roku voice commands. Just press the microphone button on your remote and say live TV and then say NBC San Diego. If you don't have voice commands on your remote, just scroll down to live TV, click the purple icon, go over to the left and navigate to news. Then head on down to NBC San Diego News. Once you've got us, make sure you add us to your favorites and we'll always be right there for you. NBC San Diego News on Roku. It's going to be a gorgeous weekend. If you want to go check out the wildflower blooms in Anza Borrego Desert, this is a look at the forecast. So temperatures throughout the morning, close to the upper 50s, climbing into the mid 60s, and then by this afternoon, settling into those mid 70s. Really nice conditions, plenty of sunshine with a few clouds passing overhead. And of course, your allergy forecast is starting to be that time of the year. If you have seasonal allergies, tree and pollen will be low for today, but grass and mold will be at a moderate level. And here's a look at your hourly forecast towards the coast. A great day to head to the beach as well. We can see mid 60s by 11 a.m. and upper 60s as we head into this afternoon. Again, with some of those clouds passing overhead, northwesterly winds generally right around 10 to 15 miles per hour. Peak wind speeds, though, up to 20 miles per hour throughout this afternoon. And here's a look at the rest of your daytime highs over your inland valleys. Just a little bit warmer there, upper 60s to the low 70s. We'll have upper 50s today over those higher elevations. I'll send it back over to you. All right, thanks, Brooke. So the San Diego Humane Society is holding a virtual kitten shower. They say they tend to see more kittens come in when we have rainy days. This year, they're expecting to top last year's 10,000 kittens. They say they're in need of kitten formula, bottles, blankets, and more. They have a virtual registry on their website now. There's more coverage you can count on at NBC7.com. You can always find us on your Roku or Samsung Smart TV app. Thank you for watching. I'm Jackie Crayon.